Applications of differentiation. We are going to continue with connected rates of change. You will find this on page 281 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at an example. The equation of the curve is this function. At the point P on the curve X is 2. A point moves along the curve in such a way that its x-coordinate decreases, this is very important, decreases at a constant rate of 0,6 units per second. Find the rate of change of the y-coordinate as the point passes through P. Okay, again, we are going to have two formulas. So, we take this formula, the rate of change with respect to x, so we must first differentiate. Now just use the chain rule, this is a constant, so it's just going to become 0. If you take this up, then it's going to become negative 1. And if you take negative 1 and you times it with 3, you get negative 3. And then you subtract 1 and you get negative 2. And you multiply by differentiating the inside of the bracket, 2. So this, and then I simplify it. This is my derivative function. Now when x is 2, so don't forget, when x is 2, when x is 2, I substitute 2, and I get negative 2 over 3. Okay, this is my first part. My second part, decreasing at a constant rate of 0, so decreasing means it's negative 0, 6. So, and it's uh, that the x coordinate, that's why it's dx, two times, so that's why it's by dt and it's negative. And again, now, if I'm going to, so to find, now if I take this, multiply this, and you see the x, and I will get dy over dt because they say the rate of change of the y coordinate. So I just multiply this to and this will be my answer. A little bit more complicated, but it works on the same principle. Okay, I want you to stop the video. And this is typical examination examples. Okay, very, very important. It's also the type of examples that you will find in Cambridge um, examinations. Okay, I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do number one and three. You can continue the video as soon as you are finish. Number one. The curve has the equation this. Point A on the curve has this coordinate. Okay, this is very important because I can see my x value there. A point move along the curve in such a way that it passes through it, its x decreases, this is also very important, decreases at the rate of 0, 0,3. Okay, let's start. So again, I'm going to have my two sides. So in this case, okay, let's, let's start with this one. I will go back to the second part now. I use again the chain rule, so, and I use the short way was just to spare a little bit of time and it's actually very easy so you just take this and you multiply it with this so you get negative a half first the outside first the oh that is not nice the pen okay so if you did then going to say 4x minus 3 okay and you subtract 1 so it's minus 2 and then multiply Four. You differentiate the inside. And that is going to give you, okay, four times negative a half, it will be negative two. And I move the bracket down. And it's square. Okay, so when x is one, Because you take the x value, 
Then you substitute and you get dy by dx is negative 2 and you're going to say 4, 1, minus 3, squared and it's negative 2 and 4 minus 1 is 1 and 1 squared is 1 so it's just negative 2. Okay. Now, now we're going to go on. So now we're going to say uh, the second part of this, the x coordinate decreases. So it will be dx over dt and that will be, and let's just write it down, negative because it decreases 0 0.3. And now check if you take this and you multiply it by this, then what will happen? The x's will cancel. But let's, let's write it out. So you have dx. Okay, let's start with this one first. dy by dx multiply dx by dt. Cancel, cancel. So it's dy by dt. And now you multiply, so it's negative 2, multiply negative 0 0.3, and that is going to give you a final answer of 0 0.6 units per second. And that will be your final answer. Okay, not so difficult. I want you to know we're going to look at number 3. Let's just make space first. Okay, um, sometimes it's just the, the, the functions is more complicated, so you must, if you struggle with the chain rule, first go and revise the chain rule again. Don't let that be the difficult part in the question. The equation of the curve, and now what is the equation of the curve? It's going to be 5x plus 4. Okay, at point with coordinates x, y. Move along the curve in such a way that the rate of increase is 0 units per second. Find the rate of increase at y at the constant when x is 1. This is why I was just because they're not giving me a coordinate, but they tell me x is 1. Okay, I need that. Okay, so let's start with this side. So again, we're going to do the two sides. This is why it's connected. So dy by dx. Okay, and I, I just I think it's better if I take it first out that you see it in this form. And again, it's the chain rule. So I'm going to say a half and first the outside. Hmm, I think I must just just leave this and now write it. Okay, so it's five x. Plus 4. Now remember a half minus 1 or a half minus 2 over 2 is negative a half. And don't forget to multiply with the differentiated inside. So 5. So that is going to give me 5 over 2 and it's going to give me 5x plus 4. Okay, and now, okay, so this is now differentiated. Now I can draw the line there. Now, when x is 1, dy by dx is 5, 2, 5, 1, plus 4, equals 5, Two, and that's, oh, I know to do it long, it's not necessary, because that's 3, so it's 5 over 6. Okay, now read this point. Uh, the rate of increase of x has a constant value. So it's dx, and it's to time per seconds. You can actually see it there. dt, and it's increasing, so it's positive 
0 0.03. And again, check what happens if you multiply this two. So therefore, dy by dx multiply dx by dt equals dy by dt and that is that 5 over 6 multiply 0 0.03 and that is going to give me an answer of 0 0.02 two five oh sorry zero point zero two five units per second okay and that's my final answer you can also try number two as well as on the next page is number five and you will find the fully workout solution in the teacher's guide